Hey, I'm Juby, the woman behind the camera, and this is my handsome husband, Justin, and our sweet Azalea. Not to forget our beloved Odin. If you've been around since the beginning of this chapter of our lives, then you know that we bought a 100-year-old house that needs a lot of work, maybe even more than we thought. But here we are, four, almost five months in, and we have a new roof, fixed the drainage problems in the basement, repaired the rotted floor in our bathroom, refinished the floors upstairs, and been working tirelessly on plaster repairs for the walls, basically everywhere. Oh, and Azalea's room is on the cusp of being done. Actually, maybe not. So without further ado, welcome back to another episode of Our Old House. Quick update on the exterior of the window wall in our kitchen. It is completed and stuccoed and looks good, although really can't wait to see it painted. So we've made some really exciting changes and updates and things that you don't know to the kitchen design and the layout and all that stuff. And I want to get into it, but I want to share about the sponsor for today's video because I'm really grateful for a new set of bed sheets that I have been able to spend the last few days, basically in all day, because as you can hear, I am still recovering from being a little bit under the weather. Thank you, Brooke Lennon, for sponsoring today's video and making my last few days very comfortable. Brooke Lennon is a bedding company that provides bed sheets, towels, and other home essentials at a really affordable price. We ordered a classic Holko bundle that comes with a sheet set and a duvet cover, along with a couple of extra pillowcases. So in total, you get four pillowcases. When you bundle the sheets together, you're actually saving 25% over buying each item individually. They have some really cool mix and match color palettes that you can kind of choose from. And they keep that affordable price because they're able to cut out the middleman from their production line. Hey, Zay. I can tell that the hotel beds are bigger than this bed. Dustin Doobie! <laughs> Is the code for getting $20 off your order for Brooklyn and Sheets when you spend more than $100. And if you want to buy something. Yeah, the bed sheets in particular. Because they're really comfortable. Me too. You've been sleeping in our bed more than your bed. Oh. And they always feel clean and fresh and super soft, especially when Odin lays in them. Yeah. <laughs> Brooklyn and Sheets have changed the way that I sleep. I feel energized. La, 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 la. And I even get sweaty from the, when I use it all of that side. And I'm going to flip it over and lay on the west side. Oh, that's a good idea. When I think of Brooklyn and Sheets, I think of one singular word. And that word is crisp. Crisp. <laughs> like a cucumber. <laughs> I want to thank Brooke Lennon again just for sponsoring today's video and if you guys are interested and in need of new bed sheets and super comfortable ones that are extra luxe then check out Brooke Lennon's website, the link is in the description below and you can use the code JUSTINJUBY to get $20 off your order when you spend more than 100 bucks. So happy resting peeps. Also, how about these hilarious renders of our cafe style dining nook that we're planning on tiling? Which is your fave? Let me just throw in some inspo pics so you really get the vibe. So we're making a quick pit stop here because Justin's been looking for another vehicle for Buddha Bee Apiary. And these guys import these little vans and trucks from Japan. So they're right side drivers, they're mini, they have really low miles, like 50,000 miles, and they're like only seven grand, which is a really good deal. Check it out. Oh my gosh. Red Pepper 2.0. Oh my god. It's so cute. Is this the one? <laughs> it's pretty this sweet one, rides, eh? I'm not sure if we're half or less. So if you guys could bring me Phillips head and the river sand. We're gonna get oh. the sander and Possibly. The Phillips head. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Ah, there she is. So we got the cabinets figured out. It was like significantly cheaper to redesign a little bit the kitchen and get rid of the upper cabinets because we were way over budget. But we are going to make it work with hopefully the cabinets in a slightly different color than we originally planned. 
So successful day, and Papa's in here working on the windows. I would like you to do me a light. Put the lights on on the favor that you can do on Mommy that I can say. The favors that people give the presents. Mommy's talking about something weird. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> and if you know what that means, like this video. <laughs> and if you like this video, please ask for another video of my show. Yeah, Azalea's show next week. <laughs> we should let you film a whole video all by yourself. Okay. Okay, and you like make the story of what we do in the day? Yes. And tell me what to video and I'll just video the whole time for you. Okay. And nail gun. A special stool. Oh, sweet. That looks good. Sending supplies. Oh, nice. A sander. Good. You're welcome. Thank you. Great. Thanks, guys. No problem. In case you were thinking we were getting close to being done with Azalea's room, sorry to disappoint you. We are just as ready to be styling and decorating this room as all of you. But life has us moving at a snail's pace with the renovations right now, and that's okay. But Zay and I did wood fill the bedside tables that we will be painting eventually. Let me give you this tool. We're gonna fill these cracks. Thanks, I appreciate you. I'm gonna reuse this cock so it doesn't get a waste. This is a hard place to reach. It's a pretty big drop down here. I've been kind of procrastinating on Zay's room as of late. I start to sand the base molding area and then all these white patches on the rainbow are because I was a bit foolish in using a pen to mark what colors were going where just so that I made sure that I was painting the right color of the rainbow. And the pen like bled through several layers of paint. So I basically used the white to kind of white it out and then I have to go over it and paint. But I haven't really been inspired to work on it just cause Pop has been in there working on the windows and trying to kind of like get that whole window thing done so I've kind of wanted to like have him be in his space and not get in the way but I think tomorrow I'm going to work on these fancy fancy pieces that Azalea and I still did and I'm going to sand them and stain them and paint them and all the stuff yeah I want to get those done that way like once we're finished in her room painting that we can just stop moving all her gear in there and I think these tables will be really cute I'm planning on I think staining the top and painting the base white and then doing like the little rainbow color pattern design here. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna work on that tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow is Thursday, so as you all know, it's my very exciting house day to uh, do projects in there. Otherwise, things have been moving somewhat slowly. Now that we know what's happening with the wall, we're ready to order the cabinets, but we kind of have some items on the list or on the agenda, I guess, to figure out before we can install the cabinets, just straight off the bat. Fidel was here today working on plaster repair kind of everywhere in the common space here in this corridor area. We had a ladder here on the stairs looking real shady and then like worked up there. But he did this whole corridor area and also like all down here 
and all like up on the ceilings up here. Next week he'll be finishing this whole living room area because we have like right there is a pretty, pretty gnarly crack. So we're gonna fix that up. So I guess the next list of things that we're gonna be doing is getting an inspection here on all this framing. Then we're gonna get the plumbing and the electrical set up, which we have a sink here in the front dishwasher here um, right next to the sink and then we've got an oven under the counter here um, we're going to keep this opening we'll cut it out a bit bigger so that you still can kind of look into the breakfast nook space then the fridge is going to go here and then there'll be a burner top here ceramic tile backsplash with a vent hood up here that will be really nice to have also a pot filler if you guys don't know what that is it's super bougie but since the sink is like across the kitchen i thought it would be nice to have a pot filler over here right by the burner top sadly we won't be able to use the retro oven with this current kitchen design layout this is probably our final variation we'd like to be able to still keep it and use it down the road for another project who knows but i think we'll keep it for right now and i'll use it for storage and yeah surface for stuff right now it actually kind of is a pseudo kitchen which i'll show you in a second but so this room also still needs to be finished we kind of moved everything the other day um, to get a feel but we'll probably eventually do built-ins in this corner here and i'd love to install another window here and then one in that back corner on that back wall but for now we're going to not keep this wood floor because it's in such bad shape and we decided to go for the original tile that I was going to do in the kitchen which is not quite this tile it has a different kind of black circular design within the white hexa hexagonal design or whatever but it will be tiled from here and this whole area here and I'm going for like a cafe vibe i think it'll be really cool to kind of have that space with like a detail white tile right there kind of a retro feel actually we have to get it inspected again after the plumbing and the electrical and then adding drywall and then painting and then we can refinish the floors all downstairs so that'll be another very exciting milestone and then we'll be installing the kitchen counters and kind of like really getting this kitchen finished up so things are coming along slowly but surely also here is the pseudo kitchen this is like our kitchen playroom tv room living room office in some occasions it's a situation for a space for all kinds of situational things to do that's that's the little mini update and i guess i'll leave you guys to it and um, catch up with you tomorrow whenever i'm working on refinishing that furniture downstairs i mean upstairs <laughs> for zoe's bedroom tell i'm still not feeling great so Babes has been making some really great progress on these windows here. He um, bought a few pieces of sheet gloss from their online website and had them deliver it to the store so we could have it cut to size in-house for free, which was really handy because a lot of places that I looked online for gloss didn't make the size window pane that we need because nobody makes this size, I guess, anymore <laughs> since they're still the old window frame. So I guess he's going to do that and then put the sheet gloss in the window frame and then do this like glazing that's basically a traditional way to attach the gloss to the window and also like seal so that water doesn't go inside. Is it fit? Are you serious? Oh my god, on all of them. There's that. Well, these windows are looking good. Much harder than before. I was using that as a test to figure out how long the ropes need to be. Now I'm just gonna cut them all to length. I had to take all the trim down to get to the weights, which means I gotta get all of these huge nails out of here. Sand, wood fill, and paint them. Jupy would like me to tell you what glaze is. I'm gonna tell you what it is. To be honest, I don't even know what it is. I don't know what it's made out of. It feels like chewing gum. And then you stick it on a window, older single pane windows like this, and it takes like a week to two weeks and it gets like hard as a rock. And it essentially holds a window pane in. Yeah, it's cool. 
no one really uses it anymore. This is glaze. This is very old glaze. This is glaze we're removing so we can get this window pane out. So eventually it looks kind of like this, as if it's a part of the wood. But actually it's just kind of filling this space right here. So it's been a couple of days now since I said I was going to work in the green room and do that like furniture restoration project. I've been honestly in bed for the last couple of days <coughs> and still recovering today. Zay was coughing on me on her day one of her worst feeling goodness day and uh, gave me her sickness. But anyways, Pop has been cleaning off the front porch. It looks amazing. Azalea has disappeared somewhere. So Justin's been cleaning off the front porch, isn't it? It feels so good to be kind of like decluttering, I guess, the front half of the house at least. From like all the wood that we saved, from like trim pieces and whatnot from the demo of these two rooms. We had to like clear off more space in the basement and we've just been like slowly but surely like cleaning and purging the old from this space. So it feels good. Do you have more wood to go down, babes? You should get that other box out. Like, Arjun doesn't even care. He's too busy trying to eat the box. Yeah. Okay, the way you're in the kitchen. Let me get the thing. That's the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be weird when this wall is like enclosed. It's like the only way I know that the light is on is the basement. Oh, I'm sorry. How did you get out? Oh, Pop helps you. And the beloved bench has yet to be finished. It's coming along though. I still have to do the bolts. It's looking good, yeah? Slow and steady. Here, let me get that door. Mm -hmm. So, all of these are windows from. I guess the kitchen demo, the old doors and also things that we had found in the basement that we had to get out of the way, I guess. Or I guess none of that was from the basement, it was all from the kitchen demo. Progress. Slow but steady. We're like, definitely turtles. Your outfit's super cute, eh? Okay. Oh! No, those are band-aids for Odin. Well, those are not for playing with. Well, that, that was your super guilty face. You can't have these though. First of all, they don't belong to us, and if we lost all the little pieces, that would be a bummer, even if they did belong to us. Hmm, bubbles. You want to put bubbles in there? Yeah! How do I get it? It's tricky, huh? Maybe I made your ladder. Yeah, maybe you do. Hey! Ah! Uh oh, Pops is coming. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, where did that shoe come from? <laughs> Zay! What? Looks so good down here. It's Sunday and Pop has had a craving by a pressure washer and start cleaning and painting the outside of the house. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> So I went and took a picture of the outside of the house because we know like the base color of the house but we figured or I figured it would be helpful for all of us to kind of be on the same page for the colors and like where every color is going to go so that we know where we're supposed to paint what and I thought I would mess with some ideas on Photoshop and kind of get an idea of what we want everything to be painted. Operation pressure washing has begun. But I wanted to say before we get started and you guys are like, why don't you just use a spray gun? You are 100% accurate in that statement and we should just use a spray gun. But we're not going to because we, we like harder work. We will. Yes. We're just, uh, you know, being mindful of this budget that we are blowing out of the water to renovate this house. We've been spending like almost a grand a month, I guess, since we bought the house. 
on like paint and caulk and new tools and just things that we need for the house and so with that on top of the mortgage and the bills and just everything we're just trying to be mindful of our spending so we got the pressure washer this month and in another month we'll purchase a sprayer and in the meantime we're going to be working double hard to pay back for not having enough money Alright, thanks for the financial <laughs> There's the uh, 411 on the money. So, well, people have been asking us how we can afford it. The uh, real answer is that we cannot. <laughs> <laughs> this here is Juby's uh, sarcastic painting segment. It's not going to be purple, we just have to mix it. But I guess all blue has purple in it. But Zay would be happy. If we painted the whole house purple. This is way more exciting than restoring furniture. Moment of truth. Let me just show you what kind of paint we got. Special for like exterior stucco finishes. Yeah, hopefully it'll last a bit longer than the paint that was currently painted on there. See you guys next week? Oh. Yeah, that's week. I thought it was a picture. Oh. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> See a you video. next week. See you guys next week for another shenanigans. I'm Justin in the party and, house. And here's Zay. And this is our old house. Bye. <laughs> 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 old house. Yep, until next time. Side tangent.